Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAP League Support. It is continuation series on SAPSD Support Project Real Time Tickets. So there is a ticket raised to business stating that order has been successfully created in the system, but they are saying that they haven't received any acknowledgement for that order. Remember this issue related to 855 interface. Then medium 6 output type. It's an outbound ad hoc. So output has been assigned to the order during save and uh, ad hoc all successful with a 03 status. Still, it didn't reach to the end customer. Okay, so let me show you the IDAC. See, this is the IDAC. For example, I, I don't have any example as of now for the order response interface that is ORDRSP. This is the message type. I don't have this kind of example in my system, but still, I'm just taking one more message type example and explaining the issue now. For example, let's understand. Let's uh, assume that this is an R response IDAC. See, IDAC has been successfully triggered. Zero three means it reached to port successfully. But business saying that they haven't received this data in their system. So how to check this this issue? If it is failed, means then we can do something. But here it is successful, but still. There is an issue here. How to verify this kind of issues? Yeah, I will tell you now. So the database table, which will be storing these status records. You see in the IDAC, we have status records that will be stored in the database table, EDIDS only. In EDIDS table, we can see the status record of an IDAC data. If we double click on the 03 message, and if I go to the tab STS details. So here we can see that parameters, first parameter, second parameter. This is nothing but RFC transaction ID, TID. Same information we can see in the table EDIDS as well. Let me show you that this is the IDAC 325190. 3251790. If I scroll to that extreme right, you see this is the field transaction ID. This is C0A800B40. That one is this one. So this transaction ID, RFC transaction ID can be found or identified in IDAC level, status record level. And the database table, EDIDS table level also, we can see this TID. So EDIDS, TID is the field. Let me show you the field also. See, in this field only, we can see the that TID information for that IDAC. Okay, so now we understood that IDAC is successful, but it still didn't reach to end customer. Now what we can do? So there is a one transaction called called SM58. And so SM58 is a transaction code to store the log for transactional RFC. Okay, it's a TRFC. Let me note it down. The T code is SM58. Log for transaction. RFC. So here we can see that information here. So whenever any IDAX triggers or any RFC enabled functional models triggers, at that time one log will be added to this T code. Whether this log will show that and make us understand that whether the transaction has been successfully sent to the PA system or customer. So basically, PA system. 
or something went wrong in between something we can do here see here see if i execute this report i can see different error messages here for different reasons the first one saying that name error password is incorrect second one is rfc destination doesn't exist something like this but in our case we received an error called error when opening an rfc connection so this is the error that we received in our case okay and here also we see the transaction id you see the transaction id here <coughs> so same thing only <coughs> we can see in that <coughs> idac also so if you execute now in the idac also i can see the same information this one right so now i understood that there is a connectivity issue between sap and pa system that's why the idac didn't reach to pa from pa it will reach to the end customer as this as it is a connectivity issue we and this as part of this ticket analysis what we did after identifying this uh, there is an rfc connection issues we immediately contacted our pa team and basis team as well and uh, they rectified that issue there were some uh, performance issue in the system too much memory has been consumed therefore this issue has been occurred okay so this is how we have fixed that issue and i would like to tell you one more table is there let me open that this one so remember this table arfc s state arfc s state this is the this is the table for a backend for this sm58 so whatever information that we see in sm58 those information will be stored in the backend database table arfc s state so for example let me take this idac so id let me take this id this is the tid but if you observe closely here there is no field called tid here then how can we retrieve the data from this table by using the tid simple ways there okay so first eight character should be the host id what i will do c0 a8 w0 b4 this is the first eight characters of this tid that should be the host id right yeah and next four will be the process id let me split it one more time four let me copy it yeah now the next eight will be the time stamp time stamp again what i will do copy this the last four will be the counter that means the arfc tid cnt if i give here and execute see i am getting the exact entry now see in sm58 we see that complete tid information here and in edids table or in the idac status level also which is the which is the complete transaction id but we can't give this as it is to this log table of rfc we should split it okay just split it and move it to this table then we'll get the entry here so the he, the entry in this table will give you more information comparing to sm 58 so if you see here it is saying that the destination here is xi this is a destination and uh, status is system fails it's failed and it is showing some inbound function module also and this is the time this is the date and the user who triggered the tidak this many information we can see in this table and moreover 
for t code sm58 only basis team will have access in production not for support team basis team only will have access to sm50 transaction code in case of any kind of issues we should check with basis team to clear this mess here either they can repush it if they refer if the connection is ready and there is no issue with the connectivity means that time they can refresh if they can refresh again this data will start to flow to pi or if they if they want to delete any of the rfc here they can simply select that one here and click delete and it is saying that only this user can delete this entry so this is an entry made by the user my user id is common so i only delete my entries only in this sm58 this is the meaning of this error and if i click reorganize the entire data will be reorganized okay so this is how we should analyze any kind of ad hoc successful but still it didn't reach to pir customer means we should first verify in sm58 any log has been generated anything failed anything is there in this sm58 accordingly we can take the action hope this video will be very helpful to you guys we'll meet in the next video thanks everyone bye bye